Pretty good. So let's talk about individual uh, stocks then. Uh, the one that really uh, was, you know, gaining big all through this week in yesterday's trading session and the previous trading session as well. ADF Foods uh, posted a strong set in the fourth quarter. The EBITDA for the company rose about 74% on a year-on-year -year basis. We saw margins expand as well. This, of course, is on a low base. The company also announced a stock split in the ratio 1 is to 5. Bimal Thakkar, who is uh, the chairman and managing director of the company, joins in now. Bimal, thank you for joining in. It was a strong performance in the fourth quarter. The question, however, is uh, what uh, do you do in FY24? FY23, your revenues grew by about 7%. Your EBITDA margins were close to around 17-odd percent. What do you think you can target in FY24 in terms of revenue growth as well as margins? Uh, so, for, for the year 24, we are still very bullish on uh, the demand of our products. And uh, on a standalone basis, we expect to grow by about 25%. And on a console level, we should be, uh, our guidance is about uh, 15%. And margins, we continue to uh, be bullish on our margins and hope to maintain the same kind of margins going forward. Okay. Uh, Mr. Tucker, you know, your flagship brand, Ashoka, has now crossed 200 crores in terms of revenue. Uh, can you tell us what you are anticipating in terms of growth from this particular brand as well as the new products that you've launched under it? FY24, what can you probably scale up? for uh, this revenue contribution from Ashoka? So the Ashoka brand in the uh, last three years has uh, doubled in size and we hope to continue uh, doing that uh, going forward. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of new products in uh, the pipeline and uh, it continues to be uh, a focused brand for our company. Okay. Uh, Mr. Tucker, good afternoon and thanks for speaking to us uh, on the channel. So you said 15% is the consolidated revenue growth that you're looking at, right? For the full year FY24? That's right. That's right. Okay. So uh, that 15% growth, uh, I understand that there is some de-bottlenecking de that you're doing at your plant. Uh, there are some expected investments as well. Can you take us through that once the capacities go up? Uh, what would it mean in terms of additional revenue growth for you and in which year does it start to kick in? So we are doing, uh, we've done some deep bottlenecking in the last year, which will give us close to 100 crores extra in incremental growth. Uh, mm -hmm. And the Greenfield project, uh, we intend to break ground next month. Uh, and uh, we hope to have that plant commissioned uh, by 20, uh, in about 18 months. So that this will be hundred add... crores, uh, sorry, this 100 crores that you said would be, would come in in FY24 itself or in FY25? Well, the capacity, it'll give us up to 100 crores. Yeah, so okay. we we should, we should be able to uh, utilize most of it this year and in next year. And then the Greenfield project will kick in after 18 months, which will give us another close to 150 crores in the first phase. And in the second phase, it can add about another uh, 100 crores in uh, incremental revenue for us. What would that uh, mean in terms of investments for you, both in the Greenfield plant and uh, uh, phase one and phase two? Uh, so we're looking at a total of about 80 crores. First phase okay. is about 50. Uh, uh, first phase is 50 crores and the second phase is about 30 crores. So that's an asset turn of nearly three, three and a half times 80 crore revenue yields, uh, uh, rather 80 crore investment yields you a revenue of almost 240 odd crores. I wanted to understand a little more about your US operations because last year you had a seven crore loss on account of supply chain issues. You've gone ahead and, uh, you know, uh, hired another or rather leased another warehouse. You're looking at improving the situation here. What proportion of uh, your business is currently from the US and what growth do you expect to post in FY24? So the U.S. Uh, contributes a little under 50% of our total revenues. Uh, mm -hmm. The supply chain issue we've been having in one of our subsidiaries, which in fact uh, last year contributed to about uh, nearly 47 crores in top line. But this year, because of the supply chain issue, uh, there was barely any contribution uh, in that, uh, in that uh, subsidiary of ours. We are looking at alternate arrangements in terms of co-packing mm -hmm. arrangements and uh, hope to get that resolved uh, this year. 
okay. U.S. continues to be a very strong market for us, and we continue to have, uh, you know, uh, project a good growth in the U.S. going forward. Okay, just quickly, Mr. Thakkar, if you could just leave us with some guidance about your new categories, such as plant-based meats as well as frozen desserts. Uh, are you profitable on both of these segments, and what are you envisaging in terms of revenue and margins uh, in FY24? So the plant-based is uh, a very new introduction. Uh, it has just uh, been launched, in fact, a uh, little less than two months ago. Uh, the initial response has been very encouraging. And uh, even the desserts has been a fairly new uh, introduction. But, you know, we're we are bullish. Uh, the whole trend towards plant-based is catching up. And uh, mm -hmm. we hope to get a substantial growth uh, going forward in the next three to four years. In okay, this and... Sure. And overall, uh, the growth in India, what kind of potential do you see? I mean, there was uh, there were higher marketing and investments that you had made and that resulted in a loss as well. Uh, can you tell us overall for the India business, what's the growth? So in India, over the next uh, five years, our, uh, we expect mm -hmm. to at least get to about a 75 to 80 crore uh, top line in India. Our products are very... Uh, urban-centric products, and we are initially launching with uh, just e-commerce. And then uh, in another 18 months or so, we'll get down to modern trade and then general trade. So we are going All to right. do it in a phased manner for India. All right, Mr. Tucker, we're going to leave it on that note. Thanks very much for joining in and speaking with us. So that's ADF Foods. We need to